Hi there. I was pleasantly surprised last Monday when the following tweet showed up in my mentions column on TweetDeck. It was from Indie Author Land and it read, Heritage of Deceit by Graham Downs is a thriller about a man who finds evidence of a genocide. And they gave a link. They had told me that my interview there would only be published this past Tuesday. Anyway, I'm really happy how it turned out. Here's the text of the interview. Heritage of Deceit is about a guy in an office who, while surfing the internet one day, comes across something he thinks is a relic from an old genocide. Even more exciting, he firmly believes that it exists, and it's right under his nose. If it's true, the artifact could bring lots of families the closure they desperately need, not to mention lots of money, but it won't be easy to find out. It's a thrilling novelette with a love interest and lots of twists and turns. So Indie Author Land asked me, what arena are we in here? I always struggle to define what genre my writing is in, but I guess I'd put this one firmly in the thriller genre. What kind of readers will it appeal to, they ask? People who like thrillers, but not long complicated conspiracy theories. This is a quick story with a plot that's easy to understand, but definitely not boring. Then they asked me to tell them a bit about my main characters. Well, there's Lloyd. He's the one who discovers the artifact on the internet. He's very much your typical ADD kind of guy. Nothing keeps him interested for very long. At the start of the book, he's bored and looking for an outlet for his talents. Lloyd's friend Robert is much more pragmatic. He hears Lloyd's theory, but he wants to check it out. He takes his time finding proof that Lloyd is right, and then he carefully ponders what to do next. Carla is young and naive. She's in love with Robert and constantly pines for him, but he doesn't seem to know that she's alive. As the story opens, she's your typical drama queen. They asked if I'd written any other books and what they should read next. Well, my last book is called A Petition to Magic. It's a short fantasy story about a new queen. Desperate to prove herself, she agrees to hear the case of a farmer who claims his neighbor stole his cow. Hearing such a case is unheard of for the ruler of a kingdom, but you'll just have to read the story to find out how it turns out. Tell us a bit about yourself, they asked me. So I was born in Alberton, in South Africa, in 1980. I've always had a vivid imagination and a passion for telling stories. I played a lot of Dungeons and Dragons and other tabletop RPGs when I was younger. And I still like to play them whenever I get time, which unfortunately isn't very often. For a day job, I'm a computer programmer, but I still love to write. My stories simply have to be told. What about my website? Well, you can check out my blog at grahamdowns.blogspot.com. From there you'll find links to Heritage of Deceit and A Petition to Magic, and I'll be updating it with more books as they release. You can follow me on Twitter, at Graham Downs, where I tweet about all sorts of things from writing and publishing to programming and IT to business to Christianity. My Facebook page is much more focused to my writing. So if you're not interested in any of the other stuff, you can like me at facebook.com slash writer Graham. What's next? So I'm currently working on a short story called Stingers, which I'll be submitting to a short story anthology that will hopefully be out by Christmas. All the proceeds from sale of that anthology will go to a children's charity in the UK. I can't divulge more at this stage, but it's really exciting stuff. So if you're a reader looking for new authors to read, then Indie Author Land is a great resource. If you're an up-and-coming author looking for exposure, it's just as good. Go check them out at www.indieauthorland.com. Thanks for watching.